Hey, what's up? Wayne Wainwright in the morning, a.k.a. Whittle. I uh, want to give a shout-out to Holy Empire Clothing, heclothing.com. But first and foremost, I should have did it like this. I want to give a shout-out to Jesus Christ, you know, being ahead of my life, man, guiding me, man. Um, but I want to tell you all this. Um, I am not perfect. I am not perfect at all. Um, you may see um, on, I got two Facebook pages, uh, uh, Wayne Wright in the morning, that's the like page for the videos. And then uh, James J. Humble Wayne Wright, uh, that's my, my other page, my, my first Facebook page. But you may see I post statuses all the time and, um, you know, about God, Jesus, and like, uh, you know, just how life is and how we should be doing. And, um, you know, a lot of people look at me different. They look at me like I'm holier than thou. And, Trust me, man. I am. I am just like you. I'm just like you. Um, I have my struggles. Um, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect at all. Um, but the thing is, the thing that might stand out, the difference maybe is, um, on my spare time, and even like right now, like I'll be looking at different scriptures or I'll be watching different documentaries to uh, load my mind with the positive things and. You know, things of God and um, just trying to learn, just want to, just trying to grow. And that's how we all should be as individual people. Um, I want to be, uh, I'll be on all different kinds of websites talking to all kinds of different people about Jesus, not glorifying myself. I, I was trying to, I'd be on all these different websites trying to make friends, but it'd be like uh, certain websites, women think that I'd be trying to holler at them, but it's not that. It's what I do is I, I talk, I be friend, I be nice. And then I go in with the word and I try to talk to them about Jesus and see if they're willing to accept them and, and ask questions about them. Ask some questions like, do you know what a Christian is? You know, and, um, it's like this. Um, there are two kinds of friends that you can have. You can have friends that will lead you to Christ or you can have friends that pull you away from Christ. And I want to ask you today, what kind of a friend are you? Are you leading to people to Christ? Or are you pulling people from Christ? And uh, ask your friends, look at your friends and see, are they leading you to Christ? Or are they leading you into the world? You know, um, God is not down with this world. He ain't down with that. He's mad at the world daily. You know, because uh, it's, it's just crazy. It's worldly. It's, it's wild. It's wicked. You know, uh, so the question for you today is, uh, are you leading people to Christ? Um. Yeah, it's so much going on right now. Uh, you know, I struggle from time to time. Um, all, we all fell short of the glory of God. Like I said, never look at me like I'm perfect because of the, the things I might post on Facebook. Uh, majority of the things I post is, is something I'm dealing with and something I'm just now finding out. And um, I like to share what, I, what I've learned. And uh, possibly, I don't care if you take my statuses and and take me off of them and copy and paste it on your page. Praise God. Glory be to God because somebody else out there need to hear it. I don't care. It's not about me. It's not about me at all. Um, please do. You know, please do. If it's helping you, send it to help someone else. Um, also, man, uh, I was just thinking earlier about uh, how Lucifer was kicked out of heaven. You know, um, and his greatest, one of his greatest gifts was uh, music, and uh, how he used music nowadays to get in our subconscious mind. When I say this is, if I go up to you and be like, um, "I want you to say, I'm gonna kill five people today, and I'm gonna smoke eight blunts, and I'm about to get drunk to uh, pee on myself," if I tell you to say that to me, you would look at me like I'm crazy. But Okay, when these rappers get on on a CD and uh, on these music videos, and then uh, they talk about that, and then it gets in your subconscious mind, and you and the radio has it on rotation daily, then you start to speak these things into existence. You start to say what they're saying, and don't, don't you think that's crazy? And it's funny. It's a form of witchcraft. Music could be used as a form of witchcraft. You know, get you to confess things that's not true. 
and not you and then you end up acting on these things that's why you look at the youth nowadays and you see all these young guys pants sagging just uh blunted and drunk and robbing killing stealing and all this stuff going on because it's no one's guiding them and at the end of the day it's the music a lot of fathers are not there for their children um i'm trying to be there for my daughter man she's two years old um i'm working on some things now but I love her to death, but at the end of the day, when she with me, she know what I'm about. She knows I love her and knows I care about her and knows, and, and, and when I'm with her, I pray over her all the time. But my whole point is, the youth is getting lost, and they're, they're the lost sheep, and if, if we're supposed to be the light, you know, we really proclaiming we're Christian, man, we have to get out here and, and speak. And I thank God for videos, because now I can actually talk to you about this stuff, man, and uh, like I said, it's a lot of lost sheep out here, man. Um, but yeah, and you be when you be around friends, and uh, you go out, y'all have a conversation. Next thing you know, y'all quote movie scripture, movie scripts, and uh, from different movies, and laughing about it. But it's funny how you could quote a movie script, but ain't nobody quoting scripture no more. You know. They probably quote the main ones that they hear all the time, the same ones that you hear all the time, but ain't nobody quoting no real scripture. So it's like when we have a conversation, man, when we sick and ill, quote scripture. When when things aren't going right, quote scripture. You know, like the three Hebrew boys, man, like when when things get tough and things get hard and that that, that sacrifice, man, like I'm going off topic, but If you down with if you down for Jesus, will you go into the fire? If you down for God, would you get in that fire? That's how we ought to be at all times, man. Ready to be in this fire. But um, I'm gonna leave that alone right there. You know, the three Hebrew boys, man. They were something else, man. Praise God for them, cause what they went through opened my eyes a lot too. So if you don't know about the three Hebrew boys, check them out, man. Um, yeah. Another thing too, man. Try to learn something new every day. A homeboy told me that, you know, my boy Rajay, just try to learn something new every day. Questions that you have answers to, I mean, answers, you're looking for the answers, find them, you know. Try to learn one thing new every day. Um, I mean, even if it's something to do with school, if it's something to do with biblical, you know, Bible-based things, Bible-based teachings, like try to learn at least one thing new every day. Um, you should never be bored. You know, because when you get bored, you have, you. have that's when the, the enemy comes in and shoot those fiery darts at your head. That's why we need to put on the whole armor of God. Also, would like to tell you to take time to read the book of Ephesians, man. Uh, I like, like, Ephesians 5 and Ephesians 6. Just look at those and your eyes may start, well, your eyes will open if you pray before you read it. And then, you know, God will just deal with your heart. But, um... I don't know, just something to talk about, man. It's just one of those talks, man. Ain't, I don't know what else to say, but I just hope that y'all have a blessed day, man. And um, just pray for Israel right now and and uh, all our lost, no, not, not lost, but all of our uh, Christian brothers and sisters around the world, man, getting persecuted, man. It's getting crazier and crazier, man. Pray for your president, man, even though he's a false uh He's an antichrist. He's antichrist. You can see by all the videos. Pray for the Pope, too, man. He ain't no Christian. He's Catholic. He ain't no crack. Catholics and Christians are not the same. He's what they call the false prophet. I'm just being real. He's a false prophet, man. He out here pushing this NWO with your president. You know, pray for them, man. Pray for your enemies, man. Um... That's all I got to say. It's Wayne right in the morning. I love all y'all, and I thank you all for really taking the time to watch these videos. Like I said, I am no better than you. I am no better than you. It's just I use my time wisely now to start to study. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, man, feel free to hit me up anytime, man. Like I said, I be on all different kinds of websites talking to people, man, about God, trying to be good friend, a good friend of someone. Um, grace and peace and love, man. Pray for me.